Today we're going to take a look at the Familidu six-seater heavy-duty stroller. Uh, now the first thing is, we'll just have a look round. Uh, as you can see, it comes complete with canopies. These fold back very simply. Uh, and again, the front one too. Uh, and this is easily removed as well. If you don't uh, want the canopy on, just press a, a button this side. And again, over here. And as you can see, that comes away very easily. Uh, equally, we can put this back in position, just clips in like so. And that's the canopies. Now let's take a closer look inside at the seating. Now the first thing you can see is the shoulder straps on the seat belt uh, are all nicely padded. Uh, we've got a three-point buckle, so one, two, and then the bottom one is the third part of the seat belt. These just clip together like that. Uh, another nice feature on this particular model is that the four front seats also recline. There's a small handle at the back of the seat. You pull that and the seat then tilts back. Same with this one and this one and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's nice for the children if they want to sleep or for some of the younger children uh, as well. The seats are all nicely padded and quite comfortable. The front seats have got little foot rests as well. Uh, the four seats behind, underneath you've got storage for things that you might want to take with you. Let's have a quick look at the storage. Um, you can see this netting under here. There are actually two compartments, one this side, one the other side. Um, this you can drop quite simply. If I take hold of that, there's a zip here as well, just to give you access. And now you can get right in there for putting any things that you want to take along with you. Also, all the rails are padded. The whole frame, the frame is actually made from, uh, is a steel frame and is powder coated to, to give it resilience. If you take a look in here, between the seats, you can actually see the storage area uh, where you can put uh, things that you want to take along with you. Now let's take a look at some of the safety features on this stroller. Now the first thing is the braking system. There are two braking systems. There's a foot brake, which is simply applied like that and released like that. I'll put it back on again. Uh, it's important to always use the parking brake when loading and unloading children. Uh, in addition to the parking brake, we have a brake here on the handlebar. So I'll release the parking brake. Now before I can use the stroller, I need to twist this twist grip in position. There is a spring on the twist grip. It's not a strong spring, but it's strong enough for it to flick back. Um, but it doesn't uh, take a lot to actually hold it in position at all. So once I'm holding the, ha the uh, handlebar uh, twist grip, then I can move the stroller. Uh, if for any reason I let go of the handlebar, it applies immediately and the stroller stops. Now we take a look around the back of the unit. As you can see, there are six color-coded pockets around here. Each pocket is color-coded to match the seat. Um, that way, if you put in here a, a feeding bottle or a toy, something like that, you'll know which child it belongs to. Now the key thing about this particular stroller is that it does fold away. Um, obviously, if you've got a car that's big enough with a big enough load space, then you can put this inside. I'll show you how it folds. Push this canopy back. Uh, remove the front canopy, which comes away fairly simply. Remove the front protection bar. Just press these two buttons and pull away like that. And then, there are, two, there are two catches, which are not down there. There are two catches up here. There's one this side and one the other side. And it's simply a case of pressing in a red button, pulling the two catches up, and then lift the whole thing forward like that. So you can see that actually folds up really easily. Once you've got it folded, you can stand the whole thing up like that. So if you want to put it away in a corner somewhere uh, for storage, then you can do that too. Finally, if it is tipping down with rain, there is an optional extra that you can buy to keep the children nice and dry. And it's this rain cover. 
which I'll just put in position. There we go. Let's pull this round. And then this comes back. And there are just some simple Velcro fastenings. And some simple fastenings here at the back as well. All just Velcro. And as you can see, now the children are nice and dry. <laughs>